Hi everyone. Hey, it's vlog day. Can you believe it? And I thought for today we'd try something a little bit different. Uh, I've been itching to do my intuitive process again that I've been developing and I haven't had a chance recently. So I thought I'd take you guys along on the ride. You can see what I do, maybe find something that you can try. I'm going to also try to blather on about my blog topic while I paint. Um, we'll see how that goes, okay? Uh, and if not, you know, hop over and read the blog. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so um, before I get started, I want to cover a couple of things. Number one, I want to talk about being a faithful artist for today's blog topic. And I'll, I don't have it arranged in my head at all. So I'm just going to blather on. And then if you want the, you know, concise and thought out version on the blog, hop over there. Uh, link is in the comments. Now, let's talk about my uh, tools that I'm using, okay? First of all, I have discovered these wonderful high flow acrylics. Uh, I bought, they were, they were on sale, so I bought as many colors as I could manage to get. I ended up getting a couple of doubles, but the golden high flow acrylics, I love them. There's another kind, another brand. Um, this is actually called Aqua Ink. It's by Graphics. It's called Watercolor Ink, and um, they uh, work very similarly, and I enjoy using those as well. A color, color is what motivates me. So, that's the primary thing that I uh, like to start with. But secondly, then I'm going to be using charcoal, vine charcoal. I've got a teeny tiny one, and I've got a big fat one, and we'll see. Um, I'm actually going to start there, and uh, we'll talk about that more in a minute. I have a Sumi brush that is connected to a hockey brush and um, I can flip ends but mostly it's the length so I can get back away from the paper and have less control and be more intuitive. I also have my art graph ink discs tailor shape they're water soluble I like to use the black I do have other colors and I use those for different applications more uh, similar to what I use the high flow acrylics for. I um, have some Karen Dosh. Um, I forget what these are called. Uh, Neo Colors, I think. Yeah, Aquarelle Neo Colors. And um, what's interesting about them is they they do respond to water, um, but they stay in place more than um, some of the other things that I use, like the Art Graph. Um, and then I also have, and this is just my collection, and it's not even in a box. These are um, Derwent Ink Tense Blocks, and just the different colors that I really like. I use this one a lot, so I have a lot of them so that I can use them. And uh, they are fun as well. So I got everything over here. I may not use everything, but I got everything over here because intuitive art is, after all, intuitive so the first thing I want to do is I want to start with my uh, vine charcoal and I, this is intuitive. I have nothing in my head planned and so I'm going to activate the canvas. I like that instead of saying I'm going to scribble. Okay, so I'm going to activate the canvas instead of uh, telling you what's really happening as I'm scribbling. I want to do something. I want to follow um, that that very elusive inner feeling of just childhood delight. So here we go. And I want to say um, that I just read an article this morning, which is going to be the
this focus of uh, this week's blog. And that is um, a article about um, how it's gotten so, um, like when you're an artist, they tell you, you have to find your niche. You have to set yourself apart from everyone else. And I'm sure that's true. I'm sure that's true. But I was reading that article um, about how setting yourself apart has become kind of a kind of a cult, and now it's kind of blasé. Like everybody does it. Everybody tries to do something wilder and weirder, and sometimes. Um, unrighteous in order to get um, p people to look at them so they can, whatever, make money, have influence, whatever. And I realized at first I was reading that was like, you know what, I don't feel like I'm an artist that's ever going to set myself apart really from others and um, I don't know that's kind of a defeatist attitude but then in the very next thought I feel like the Lord ministered to me and said you know what I'm not looking for artists that set themselves apart and do something different I am looking for faithful artists and so uh, that was very encouraging to me that to keep making art it's um it's been discouraging because of the lack of income my income is at kind of a trickle right now and i get it everybody's struggling <laughs> everybody's struggling including me and uh And I get that. Uh, but that's God's business. My business is to be faithful. And that, that was just encouraging for me. Just encouraging. Okay, I'm really liking that you can still see those lines under there. That's what those neo colors do for you. They spread out okay, but then they give you this... Um, little kind of structure underneath. What happens if I do this? And the more that I thought about that, the more I thought about how that's what God calls us to do anyway. He doesn't ask us to be perfect because <laughs> He's the only one that was, and He knows. He knows. We're not going to be perfect. Um, uh, one really cool thing about these golden uh, high flow acrylics is some of them come, you can hear it, there's a little ball or something in there to help keep it mixed up. I don't know if, I don't think they all have it, or not all the ones I have have it, but um, this is. Quinacridone magenta, one of my favorite colors of all time. Let's see, let's have a little bit more water. Because I love the way it happens when they just... Look how cool that is. Watch that. Isn't that awesome? I just love it. And so, um, then that... The, one of my sucker in the dirt verses, okay? I have sucker in the dirt verses. Uh, that mean, Those are the verses that when I don't know what to do, I don't know what's right, I'm not doing right, and I don't know how to do what's right. Those kind of times when I'm really frustrated and concerned and I want 
to do the right thing and don't know what it is, then I might throw my sucker in the dirt, pick up this scripture and go home. <laughs> so that's why I call my sucker in the dirt verse. This is one of them. And what has the Lord required of you but to be humble, love mercy, no, but to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with thy God. And that is faithfulness. That is faithfulness. So, I feel like putting this on the brush and then doing that. How simple is that? As an artist, I don't have to make people happy. I don't have to make people want to buy my stuff. I don't have to... Um, be a, a standout artist uh, that that moves the world with all my wonderful art, even though that would certainly be uh, desirable in most contexts, but I don't have to. I don't have to. I just have to be faithful. And if I'm faithful, then God will use this the way God wants to use it. Do I want this little place right here or do I want to connect all this color? I feel like I'm going to take a risk and leave it. It might turn into the thing. You never know what's going to turn into the thing in these things. I love this quinacridone. That was uh, quidra quinacridone nickel azo gold and I'm telling you it's expensive, but it is, look at that color. It's just, there's, it's so luscious. All right, so I have purple. I have magenta. I have mm, orange. It's in the orange family. What would go good with that? Purple, pink, orange. What else do I like? Phthalo blue, we could do that. We could do like a, hmm, we could do a lime green. Would I like that? That would go with the purple and the magenta, wouldn't it? I have kind of a lime, lime green in this aqua ink. What do you think? Ooh, I think so. Let's put it on. So, faithfulness. Now, these don't have a little ball. I ought to go get some BBs, right? Put them in these little ones. I need to get a brush or something to stir that with. Hang on, let me get a stir stick. Popsicle sticks. They introduced them to us in kindergarten and in Sunday school and we're still using them as artists at 60 almost 3 yep my birthday's coming up and I cannot say that I have always been faithful unfortunately not as an artist and not just as a person I love splatters I don't know why but I do isn't that fun um, both of these are, and I didn't get water. Of course I didn't, because why would you get water when you're just painting something? Uh, in fact, there have been times when I was much less than faithful, much less than faithful. Um, then there have been times when I thought I was being faithful, and I wasn't. Um, so you can be wrong. Um, another subject that's come up this week that kind of ties in with this is, and I lost my train of thought. 
Um, oh, the he gets us <laughs> movement. And you know, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty naive about things. I have my church. I go to my church, and and I'm very. Ah, um, dedicated, devoted to my church. They teach uh, scripture um, exegetically and hold. we hold each other accountable. I love that. Um, and so I don't much look at things that are happening in the Christian world outside of that. Um, but the whole he gets us movement. I originally thought that it really was um, just like he does get us. He knows how sinful we are. That's why he came to save us. He gets us better than we can ever get ourselves. We don't have a clue. I'm loving this green. It's going everywhere. Um, how about ourselves you know know thyself is an impossible job our hearts are deceptive scripture tells us that so that he gets us I thought that's what it was saying but apparently I was I was ignorant and naive as usual about what uh what that movement was all about and uh, and here's the deal folks he does get us he knows our hearts when there's no way for us to know our hearts there's no way it, our hearts are idol factories that's been said by more than one person uh, of note in the world we will create our own idols or take our own self as an idol in the blink of a moment instead of trusting the one who made us and um, being faithful to that so I'm glad God gets me. He does. He gets me. He gets that I'm a sinner. And boy, do I ever need his help. The only way I can be anything that would benefit the world is through him. So I want to stick with him because that's what I want to do. I want to benefit the world. That is cool, huh? I like it. I'm just uh, taking a moment to pause and enjoy the colors. I'm <laughs> loving that. Um, this being, this being um, high flow acrylics, it could cut down on my um, tooth for the pastel. That's not really a problem. I can go over it with uh, clear gesso if it's too slick. Or I could just let uh, the pastel, you know, uh, cut down on the layers that I put on top of it so that it kind of shines through. Um, so I'll just deal with that. And I, I'm just really loving that lime green. So I'm enjoying my colors and how they shine a little bit. You know what I feel like? Well, I've got lime green in the quinacridone. And the lime green next to the magenta works anyway because that's color theory. Do I need to put some of the quinacridone into the lime green? So I'm asking myself. The quinacridone doesn't really go with the magenta. In a way, I guess it does. It's analogous if you push it. I think I might want some quinacridone in this area, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that. I'm gonna start small. 
and see. Uh, how I like it. Yep. Yep, I do. And I think just about that much is all. Oh, I like it. Now we've got this kind of triangle thing going here. Very good. Very good. All right. Next step is to let it dry. So let's take a quick break. And let that dry I don't know if I'll finish today and that's fine we can do part two whatever next week or something and you can tune in and watch the follow-up uh, I may get time to continue today but I think we have enough video um, for this week if we want to stop there so uh, let me know what you think about uh, how important it is to be a faithful artist as opposed to um, an influencer artist. Can we just say that? I would love to be an influencer artist. But the person who influences me most is my King, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to be an influence through him. I want him to influence through me and being faithful is the only way to do that. Okay, so let's take a break. <laughs>